Hello Terraria and Fusius. My name is James and welcome back to the Forium mod. So in today's episode we have an action-packed theme for today. We actually have a lot of things to do. Now I got a lot of comments yesterday suggesting things that we can do in the series but I'm actually going to bypass that. So we got a lot of comments for the Martian Madness, Pumpkin Moon, Frost Moon and I really was going to do them but then I decided I was like you know what at the core, they are vanilla events with one additional weapon. So, for example, we could do Martian Madness and get a new Bard weapon, but in two minutes, I'm actually going to pass that weapon in damage anyway, and we're going to move on from it. So, I decided I would make one new weapon, which is the, the Green Tambourine, which is made of chlorophyte and cloth. And I thought, we'll use this with a combination of all of our other ones. And by the end of today, we will have done a lot. Like, we're going to progress... A hell of a lot today and the reason for that is is because after you defeat the cultists you actually get an unlock for terrarian bars I think they're called something like that or terrariums or whatever you use those to make insane upgrades to all of your items so to get to that point we can do that pretty quickly but if we do all the events and stuff it's just gonna bog it all down and to be honest it's not something I'm really that interested in anyway so yeah we'll, we'll just move on we'll, we'll do something a little bit more uh, time efficient so I need to reforge this. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how much I really want to spend on it. Um, one more. Actually, no. One more. Uh, well, I I'm an absolute addict at this. Oh, look at me just burning all the money away. Oh my god, getting terrible, terrible reforges. For real, what is this? Eight percent. Ah, oh. <laughs> unpleasant. No. Agile. No. Oh my god. When will this stop? Right, we're going with that. We're going with Unpleasant. Fair enough. Let me show you it. It is basically the light discs, but uh, but infinite. It's so cool. Uh, so we are off to the jungle. Not the jungle. We're off to the dungeon today because we need to farm out ectoplasm because ectoplasm is definitely one of the things we need. And we need about 40 pieces of it. But while we're there, we can actually get dark matter and dark matter will actually make a new bard weapon as well. So we actually have these uh, these potions now. These are from the Alchemist mod. They're called Dungeon Teleportation Potions. And they teleport you straight there. So I thought that was really cool. I was like, yeah, gotta show that off. Alchemist mod is pretty brilliant. It's been it's been getting a little bit of heat, I noticed, on Reddit. Because it actually added in a bunch of uh, memes, essentially, into the mod. Like, for example, for a little while, you could get the Ugandan Knuckles NPC. And, I don't know, some people don't really, like, appreciate that as much as, uh, as others. And that's why we got Pink Guy yesterday from Filthy Frank. Because, you know, a little bit of a meme, a little bit of a cultural icon. Um, well, that's why we got it anyway. So, yeah, so that, that explains why we had Pink Guy in the video yesterday. That wasn't actually Forium, it was Alchemist. And I was, I was quite shocked at that. So, we're getting Dark Matter, pretty sick. But what I'm, I'm literally going to do is I am going to heal up and I'm just going to go for it. Like, I'm going to buff up, heal up, and just go for it. I'm just going to farm out, see what items we get. I don't think it's going to take us a considerably long time to actually farm out all that ectoplasm. But then again... It's been made easier in other mods, like Calamity gives you stuff that you can use to craft ectoplasm with because ectoplasm is like such a chore to get sometimes. But we'll see. I'm gonna keep fighting them off, keep doing my thing. As you can see, we're, we're quite powerful for this stage of the game. Like to be coming into the uh, the hard mode dungeon and just tackling things like this, that's, that's kind of hard to achieve. So I feel like Bard class has definitely reached a point now where yeah, it's nice and strong. Like, it went through a little bit of a point where it was, like, really underpowered. And then it, a point where it was like, okay, this is a challenge now. And I, I like that. That was, like, yesterday. And then now it seems really, really powerful. Okay, so I'm literally going to farm and farm and farm. I'll see you guys at the end of that. It's going to take some time looking at this. Like, how many pieces of ectoplasm? None. <laughs> so I'll see you guys at the end of all of my farming. Alright, so I finally got slain. I didn't get everything that I needed to get. I need like a little bit more. But I thought I would show you something that I thought was amazing. So I found this in the dungeon. And I was like, this is absolutely perfect. So this is called the gateway glass. So it uses 25 mana and allows you to set a temporary gateway that allows you to teleport to the gateway. This is sick. So, let me paint you a picture. I don't have a rod of discord, so I can't get around. So, say I'm fighting the Moon Lord, and he's right here, and he's about to beam down his laser. And obviously, as you guys know, the laser comes like this, right? I'm like, oh god, it's coming, right? And then, as it reaches me, bam, I'm away from it. Sick, right? That's, that's, that's awesome. 
So if you're playing Thorium, without a doubt, farm that out because that is a, a lot easier to get than the Roger Discord with a little bit more challenge. So you can appreciate a thing like that. So we actually got 32 Ectoplasm, which is uh, without a doubt not enough. I mean, we do need a baseline of like 40, if that's correct. Let me actually double check that. This thing that you make is called the Terrarium thingy. Let's see. Well, let's, let's have a look. So I need eight for that. So that's already eight. Um, I'm going to need a further eight for these. Or a further 12. So that's 20. So I already need 20. And then what else do I need? Ooh. Ooh, that does look cool, actually. But I don't think I'm going to make that. There's a weapon that I wanted, though. Let's see. This one. So eight for that. So that's 28. And then this one. So another eight. So that's 36. Do you know what, actually? That might work. How many did I get? 32? Ooh, if I don't make that one, <laughs> this could do. Increases symphonic damage by 10. Ooh. Yeah, that's definitely worth it, right? The Terrarium Auto Harp unleashes a prismic burst of warbling, -ling uh, yeah. warbling sound. Okay. So not many then. So we can work on that in a second. Right, so let's make up some new weapons. So we're using Dark Matter today. And I'm also going to grab my Knight's Alloy. And I'm surprised because you use Knight's Alloy for this. Not Holy Knight's Alloy. Which doesn't really make... Oh my god, my game crashed. <laughs> oh no. For real? Oh no. Oh my god. Thank god. Literally everything is saved. For real, look at that. <laughs> you have no idea how that felt. Like, that... <laughs> Oh, that was that was tough. You know what? That was that was really tough. The funny thing is, is that this happens all the time with Thorium. For for some reason, it, it always has happened to me. It's actually really unlucky, really. But don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about it. Okay, so let's see. Where were we? We were looking at the Holy Knight alloy. There we go. I want to see what it actually made. I know that it's for the healer class. And that's literally it. It's all for the healer class. I do wish that I checked that out. Originally, if you guys don't remember, I was going to have Python come in and record the second half of the series. But to be honest, I kind of got like bogged down on my own stuff. And I, I basically just didn't... In <laughs> like, I didn't ask him to do it after all. I did ask him. And he said yes. And then when it came to doing it, I didn't ask him. <laughs> and there's, not, there's no reason behind it. I literally just got bogged down. Um, and you know how that goes. So, now that we have everything, we're going to make those new weapons, and we're using Dark Matter and Knight's Alloy. Is my Knight's Alloy still in here? Okay, banging. Right. Sick. That's actually really good. Okay, so the two weapons are... Let's see. You've got the Bassoon. 162 Symphonic Damage. Launches a Sticky Bassoon Bomb. Right-click to detonate all bombs. Uh, oh. Oh, that doesn't sound that good. I'm not going to lie, that one doesn't sound good at all. And the clarinet, which is 104 symphonic damage and gives you damage free. So, hmm. I'm going to swap out the Vazula, the Vuvuzela, Vuvuzela, I think that's how it's done. I looked it up earlier. Uh, with the godly clarinet, because I won that damage buff. And then, let's see, do we have a, a lineup for the bassoon? Let's try it out. Well, let's try it out, we'll see. Nope, we don't have a lineup for that. Uh, maybe. Do they stick? They do stick, don't they? I guess. I guess we can. It's quick as well, so that's actually pretty beneficial for this. Well, it goes through platforms. So I guess it doesn't stick? I don't really know. It makes a weird noise, doesn't it? Cool. Right, okay, so that's done. I've literally done everything I need to do. The only thing I do need to literally do is to go over these gentlemen here, go farm the rest of the stuff out, the rest of the ectoplasm, and then we're going to do a boss fight, and that's literally it. And hopefully my Terrari won't crash before then. So another little jump cut, guys, while I farm away. Uh, I hope you guys can appreciate all the, uh, all the little time I'm putting in with, like, getting everything ready behind the scenes and stuff, and... And other stuff like that. So, uh, yeah. So, more jump cuts, but essentially more content for your, for your time. And if you do appreciate that, guys, please be sure to leave a like. 
I was trying to get uh, I was trying to get a video with a good few hundred likes again. Um, it tells YouTube that you guys are interested, and honestly, I really appreciate it. It goes a long way. So, if we can make that happen for today, that'd actually be pretty sick. So I'll see you guys in a minute, and we're gonna uh, we're gonna farm out. Okay, so that should be all of it that I needed. I just needed five more. Now, I had a little bit of a panicky moment because I'm thinking, if the world didn't save, did it save the fact that I actually put my thing into this chest? It did. Thank God. Whew. Okay, emergency avoided. So I actually tested out the bazoon, and the cool thing is it actually, actually explodes. Actually, actually. It actually, actually explodes if you hit an enemy with it, so... Alright, I, I, I take back what I said about it. I'm going to give it a little bit of love. Right, okay. We need to get rid of some stuff. So we're going to get rid of that. We're going to put that in there. Literally all the stuff from the beginning of the series we can just get rid of now because we're way too far into this thing. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of these. Jelly, don't need it. Don't need it. Just trying to think, is there anything else I don't need? No, I think I'm good. Okay, sick. So that's literally it. That's all I need to get done. I've got all my buffs. I've got everything. Okay, right. Away we go. Uh, we're going to buff up. I'm going to sit here and just uh, regen some health real quick. Uh, I haven't done this with this class, obviously, so I'm interested to see how it goes. I have lost so much health just then. <laughs> okay, quick, regain some health. Yeah, I'm interested to see how this goes. We'll see. Okay. Going alright so far. I don't feel like I've, uh, I've not got a chance or anything like that. Okay, and we're doing damage pretty quick. Do you know what? I should probably start mixing up my weapons and stuff. I'll show you the, the bazoon. That one. Oh, no! Oh, God, that's so slow. Do you know when you've not got enough, uh... Enough inspiration to do it with? And it does give you, uh, damage free, so that's pretty sick. The, the, the mad thing is, is if it teleports, so you don't get that. So you've got to be really careful of that. Okay. Come on, dude. Uh, that one. Got ya! <laughs> Got you good. Okay, this this fight is, is a weird fight, not gonna lie. Like, I don't really know at what point they spec'd up this fight, because it doesn't seem particularly challenging for the, the placement of it in the game. Which one are you? Uh, that one. I don't know if I triggered it then. No, I didn't. Okay, sick. Oh, I'm, I'm enjoying this green tambourine. Oh, I should probably show you the clarinet. Clarinet's pretty awesome, and it also gives you additional damage, right? Is that the one the clarinet does? Is it the other one that gives life regen? I genuinely can't remember. Alright, which one? That one! Hey, I'm getting really good at that! Okay, I should probably, um... <laughs> uh, I should probably carry on using this, because this gives life regen. Okay, we're in the final bit of this fight now. Let's go back to the clarinet, because I enjoy it. Okay. Oh, God. Did I kill it? Oh, God. There we go. Okay, sick. So that means that there are now celestial creatures. So there is actually an additional thing that we can get now. So we unlock something new that actually gives you a new item. I think it's called, like, Star Fragments or something like that. I'm just making that up off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure it's something like that. Oh, you actually get a treasure bag now? <laughs> Bloody Alchemist mod, man. Are these all Alchemist mod? Oh, they're Thorium. Forium, forium, forium. Oh god, am I in the middle of a... Oh, I'm in the middle of two, so I need to be really careful with that. Ancient light. Oh, that's actually really sick. Suspicious looking scythe. Summon your own Grim Reaper. Increases your crits moderately. Cool. Well, I don't necessarily... Let's see what that's like. Oh. Is it a... It's a... No. What is it? Is it a pet? Yeah, I'm alright with that. Hello, my name's Greg, the Grim Reaper, and don't laugh. Don't get it. Don't get it. Okay. So we got a lot of stuff then. Um, so we need to start putting some stuff away. So we'll put all this stuff away. The reason, by the way, guys, that I haven't used any other class this series is because I'm genuinely just enjoying the Bard class so much. And I think considering this is my Thorium series, I should probably give it lots of extra love. So that's cool. Have I got a chest of vanity? I'm going to have to get one. It's going to be this one. Uh, and I need to put away a, a, what's that? Delectable nut? Oh, I don't even know what that is. Summoned a little winged friend. Oh. Okay. Just put that away. Don't need it. 
And then we need to put this away in weapons. Uh, and this. Sick. Okay, that's literally everything that I need to do. Tattered cloth. That can literally just be binned. Right, now it's time for the thing that I've been building towards. So what we're going to do is... Where's gems and, uh, and ore? Gems and ore is here. So I need to put this... You know, unless I just take all of these out that I actually need. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm pretty sure I need all of these. And I think that's it. And then you slap this down. And you grab your ectoplasm. And I know that I'm not talking very straight, but we're going to build towards something good. Uh, ectoplasm. Okay, and then 40 of these bad boys. Or however many I can make. 34. Okay, so 34 of these. So the first thing we're going to make is we're going to take those off and we're going to take... Oh, I need my souls of flight. That's what I need. I've got them already. So souls of flight. I've got those. So the first thing we're going to take off is that. And we're going to make the wings. So these are the terrarium wings. They give off a rainbow glow. Okay, cool. Let's see what that looks like. Sick. I'm alright with that. <laughs> and then we're going to make a... Auto harp. Yeah, okay. Auto harp. So we can probably get rid of the wind chimes now. Let's see what this is like. Oh my god. And with that accessory that we have, it should actually home in on enemies as well. So we do need to upgrade that. That's one of the things we need to upgrade. I told you guys this would be a very action-packed episode, didn't I? And I told you there'd be a lot to it. Oh my, no! <laughs> Godly on the first go, boys! Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Right, let's put away all our ore. Man, this is exciting stuff, to be honest. I like this. Uh, let's see. Gems and ore. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Don't know why I had to count them, but this seems right. Alright, so I wanted to look up why I couldn't make any more, and I figured out that it was actually my hallowed bars. I ran out of hallowed, so that's okay. I don't actually have the time to make another mechanical thing just to get it, so I'm going to leave it behind and see how we do without it. It would have been a pretty cool weapon, and I think we're going to go back to it soon. So, we need to work on reforging now, uh, which is going to be really hard, because it literally depends on how lucky the game wants us to be. So, I'll keep... Oh, what do we keep? I like everything menacing, so I'm going to go and reforge this. Nope. 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 Uh, I'll take angry. I'll take angry. Angry's not too bad. And then I'll take this off as well. I'm going to reforge this. One go menacing. Hell yeah. Okay. That's literally everything that I need. I'm literally good to go. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm actually going to jump cut around the uh, the pillars because I'll tell you what, I don't like the pillars. I never have done. Um, I think everybody that knows me knows that. So I'm going to basically just speed my way through them, see how well I can do, and, uh, and just basically just move past it. Honestly, the pillars do my absolute head in. Like, for real. Like, I just don't like even filming them. I don't like doing them. They just take forever. They're so mundane. So I'm going to be quick about this. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Um, before we actually do the fight, I'm pretty sure we're going to get some uh, some star fragments or whatever. I don't know which one is going to give us those. But I'm pretty sure we can craft something with those star fragment things. So we'll see. Right, I'm going to see you guys soon. Uh, I'm just going to have to slog my way through these events. And then we'll see what happens. Okay, so I just finished that first tower, and I want to show you what I got. I actually got some celestial fragments, some shooting star fragments, and some stardust fragments. So I'm not exactly sure what these do. I feel like they may be a post-Moon Lord thing, but we're going to see. So, what do you make? Oh, okay, yeah, you do make a post-Moon Lord set, but you also make the Rock Stars double base. Okay, that sounds pretty interesting, and it gives damage to and critical strike chance free. Um, and then you can also make a soundstage lament. Okay. So, releases a five staff surge from your cursor. The surge grows... Oh, uh, oh, okay, I get it. You basically shoot it off, and it basically, like, sends a pulse out. I'm gonna go with the Rockstar's double bass. Hell yeah. Can I make that? Have I got enough for that? Let's see. Uh, Rockstar's double bass. Hopefully it comes up straight away. Hell yeah. Okay. 176. For real? What are these? So that's 91. And that's attack speed and movement speed. So I do actually have to sort these out. I've got agile. So let's think of what we don't need. So we don't need that. That's 56. We don't need that anymore. 
162 to over 120. I'm going to get rid of the bassoon because I know that I won't use it. So if I was to say this is our lineup, how's that looking? So I've got basically this thing, which is the auto harp. That's really awesome. That gives you... What to do? Damage empowers with the player. Depends on the color of attack. What? I have no idea. Uh, let's see. So that gives life regen. So good. Attack speed, good. Damage free, great. Damage two. So I'm going to have it like that. Let's see what this is like. Is it homing? That's the question. Oh my god, look at that. So when it actually hits, it pulls down? Oh, for real, that's sick. That is awesome. Okay, well, I've got to use that. So there we go. That's my uh, that's my setup, guys. That's what I'm going into the, uh, into the Moon Lord with. I'm pretty excited about that. So I'm going to have to keep farming away, like I mentioned, and then I'll see you guys at the end of all of that. I've got to show you guys how awesome this is. Look at this. Look at the carnage this creates, because when you're in an area where there's multiple enemies, the drop down is just so good. I mean, it's not perfect because these enemies are obviously flying in the air, but say, take this to the solar tower, and you've got a really good combination there. So yeah, pretty damn awesome. But I just got to remember to keep cycling through, but that's so, so good. All right, we're coming to a very, very close end. So what we have to do now is collect all our resources, head back to the hub, so essentially the spawn. Uh, I've got to go put an accessory on, and then we're done. Okay, impending doom approaches. Right, so I need to put on an accessory. Which one's my accessories? It needs to be the guitar pick. Yes, okay. And that's it. That's literally us, uh, us already. That's literally it. That's exciting, right? Oh, my dryad's dead. Oh, no. Okay, well, that's that's eight defense. We're not getting back. Right, so now we chill. We relax. We cancel buffs. And hope... Just hope that we manage to wing this on the first try, because otherwise I've got to spend all the things that I just got. Okay. We're going to buff... Oh, my dryad's there. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Okay, got to remember to use that mirror. Got to remember to do it. This is my first try of the Moon Lord in a very long time, guys, and we're doing it with instruments. That's so cool to say. Okay, let's see how we do with our guitar. Okay, guitar's working well. Got to make sure that I'm avoiding damage at all costs. Oh, snap. Uh, there. Oh, ho, ho, it worked. Okay, got to remember to just keep moving. Keep letting my uh, instruments do damage. I am not very good at dodging this fight, so it's not going to be one of those things. Ah, uh, I did it wrong. I did it wrong. Oh, no. I think I stepped too, uh, too far away from my portal. I don't know if I managed to block that. I wasn't paying full attention. I'm getting nervous, guys. I truly am. Okay, I think I literally have everything equipped, though. I don't think it's going to be one of these things where we look back and we're like, God, James was an idiot. Oh, snap. I need to learn how to do that. Okay. Okay. Right. So, looking at this... It does seem like this is possible, for real. But the only problem is, is I need to... I basically need to, like, learn how to use this thing properly. Okay, I did that fine. you got to remember, though, guys, this is my first try in a very, very long time. I haven't done a Moon Lord in months. Like, two, three months? Maybe that... Maybe longer? I'm not sure. Three months? I haven't done a Moon Lord fight in three months. Well, wow. Kicking the addiction, guys. Ah! Did I beat it or did I get did I get the hit? I think I got the hit, right? I don't think I was that good. I tell you what, for a Moon Lord fight, this is actually really tricky. I know that I haven't got the best arena or whatever, but in terms of like what damage we're doing and stuff, not good. Alright, I need to get my tambourines out. Yeah. I need another try of that. I need to actually like take a break, figure that out. Um, and figure out where I went wrong. I think I think I know where I went wrong. I need to like extend some stuff or whatever. And actually avoid stuff. Okay. Okay. That was fine. I'm alright with that. We lost one. You lose one all the time. I'm, I'm cool with that. A Doomslayer's coin unleashes the Ragnar Ragnarok. Oh, that's a cheap recipe. Terrarium Pulsar Shot. Oh my god. Is there anything else that we can use? I'm just interested. 
Sound Sage's Lament. Why didn't I make this? Oh, it's because, yeah. I'm going to make that. And I'm also going to make one of these. There we go. I could only make one of those. So that means I didn't get a lot of the vortexes. Oh, wow. Blasting them away. Let's see. How do you do this then? Oh, okay. And while they're out, they actually get stronger. Okay, that's that's kind of cool. It gives you attack speed and all that. Right, let's let's reforge this. Oh, I don't have a goblin. <laughs> do I know have a goblin? Is he dead? I think he's dead. Okay, right. I'm going to have a break. I'll be right back. I'm going to get all nice and relaxed. See if I can uh, do this second time. I think I can. I think this I think I think we can do this. Okay, see you soon. Okay, I'm going to attempt number 2. Let's see how this goes. Uh Celestial Sigil. Let's see. Is it possible with an instrument? That's what I want to know. Okay, relax. Relax. And remember to move. And remember how to do the teleporting trick. And remember, I don't know, whatever else. <laughs> Words of encouragement, right? Buff up. Let that recharge to full. We've got 600 health. It's weird because I'm so used to doing stuff like this in Calamity now, where, like, you get 700 health to do this fight, or 750, or whatever else. Okay. Just remember, guys, I'm not Ningushu. I'm not Euromir. I cannot dodge the Moon Lord stuff. Just on my own. I'm not that good yet. Maybe one day. Pr probably not. Let's be real. Uh, okay. We're well, almost there, guys. It's almost time! Did I turn this off? Whoop. Turn it back on. Okay. Come on. Okay. Enjoy the lovely sounds. Okay, I'm already out of uh, inspiration. It's going to take a while for my inspiration to build back up. Oh my god, look at what I've done to his hands. Okay, now I'm going to learn the Moon Lord trick. Well, the, the teleport trick. Oh, I actually just did it on my own. Never mind. I'm trying to bring it back so I can do this. Oh my god. Oh my actual... What on earth? For real? Wow, that just got a lot, lot easier. Oh my god. Okay, now I just need to run and avoid things, essentially. And when it opens up its eye again, that's when we go back in. Come on, open it up. Come on. Okay, where are you gonna go? Oh no! Oh no! Okay. For real, that was dumb. That was no. Oh, I almost, I almost got hit that. All right, that was really dumb of me. I need life regen. I really need life regen, but I can't actually activate my, uh, my little things to get it going. Okay. Oh, I just missed out on that. Did I just not take it for real? Oh, okay. Right, keep moving, James. Just keep moving, keep moving. If you can, get a heal in. Okay, his eyes open. His eyes open. Okay. Come on. Why is it not... This is not... It doesn't shoot upwards very well. Okay. Come on. I think it's... I think it's more powerful the further away you are. So, like... If you can get it there... No! Ah! Okay. Now it's time to actually end this. Okay, build up inspiration. Oh, I, I need to I need to actually drop down to the ground real quick. Just get a boost. I wish I could see where he was. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay. Yeah, the further away you bring it, the, the better it is. Okay, is that the body part? There we go. That's where we're hitting. Okay. Alright, this actually turned out to be way easier. Okay, time to nerf that weapon. For real, that needs to be nerfed. Oh my god. Hell yeah though, guys. We beat the Moon Lord with musical instruments. It can be done. It can be done. I'm very proud of us. Woo. Alright, that's literally it. Alright, thank you all for watching, guys. This is the end. I'll see you next time. No, I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. Don't worry. Don't worry, we still have one more challenge left, and it's the Ragnarok. Now, I'm not going to be that guy that's going to jump straight into it. 
I'm going to actually let you guys guide me a little bit on what we do. Uh, I am actually going to have to farm that fight out again. It's a shame that I didn't get more of these because I kind of needed them. Because I'm going to need the Luminite to actually make my armor unless... Unless, let's actually see how many it takes. Ooh, eight. Twenty. Oh, uh, okay, right. So it takes a lot. It takes a lot. So just one more time of that. That's not bad. Okay, let's open this up. Bam. What do we get? No! That's this. That's. Is that Lucio's weapon from Overwatch? I feel like it is. The Sonic Amplifier. 200. Actually, how does it have? 238 symphonic damage. Left click to unleash a barrage of sound pulses. Right click to send out a hypersonic wave. Or this. Okay, kind of cool. It's very short range, isn't it? Oh, I hate the noise. It's the. It sounds like the bumper carts. That sounds like bumper carts. Oh, that's, that's some bad ASMR right there. That's cool, though. What else did I get? I got... Oh, absolute rubbish. Uh, portal gun mask. <laughs> that's awesome. Hey, that's kind of cool. It looks like a resprite of the uh, one of the ones that you get during the Dungeon Defenders event. Right. Okay. Well, I'm going to end it there, guys. Tomorrow will be Ragnarok, which will be our final boss. Series is going to end when the final boss is killed. So I'm just warning you now, guys. So with that out the way, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. And maybe the last one. Peace.